You know, when they saw me, the things that I said, they saw by my actions, I backed up my words with my actions. And as I said before, I firmly believe in treating people how I want to be treated, whether you were the first round draft pick or a rookie free agent. I treated you with the same respect because I commanded the same respect. No, Derek is a special man. If I didn't even know him as a football player, he'd be, it'd be someone you would want to be friends with, would want someone to be around your family, your children, and someone to look up to. And as a person, he's just unbelievable. And then add in his qualities as a football player, just make him truly spectacular. On any given Sunday, Derek was easily the best athlete on the field. There was no tight end he could not cover, no quarterback he could not chase down for a sack, his list of honors is impressive, a team record 11 consecutive Pro Bowl selections, NFL's Defensive Player of the Year in 2002, he's our franchise's all-time leader in tackles with 2,198 and ranks second all-time in defensive touchdowns with seven. Those facts and figures were indeed Hall of Fame worthy, yet they pale in comparison to Derek's accomplishments. During his legendary 14-year career in Tampa, Derek dedicated himself just as hard to making a lasting difference in our community as he did for affecting his craft.
celebration of the parade, people hanging out in parking garages, you know, celebrating with us in downtown Tampa. We were relevant and we were not going anywhere. And I heard Warren say this many a times on television as well as myself. We actually turned the yucks into the bucks. <laughs> and we, we realized that on the same stadium that we were called the Yucks. Years later, we win a Super Bowl in that same state. That's only God's favor on this football franchise.